What's up everyone, my name is Sergio Zapata. Today's gonna be a recording of mine to test out, see if I can do this on my own and put some video together to do my own fog light change. So, new fog light. And well, I'm gonna install it into this uh, 2016 Veloster Turbo. Now, for the purposes of this video, instead of just getting on, down to the ground because it's all dirty as you can see, I'm gonna have it raised up and just easier access as well. I'll explain as I go along. So just before, fog lights. They're not white, they're just some kind of ugly yellowish color. Okay, so I have it up on these ramps. Should be more than enough for me. If you don't have it, use the jacks. You can probably do it without either, but you're gonna be really low to the ground. So, it's just probably better to raise it. Look at what you're doing, don't struggle as much. Riverside wheel. Yes, it's winter, so I got this thing on just for outside. You just gotta pull off, as far as I know, these two tabs here. I already got this one out, and it kind of just old enough, deteriorated, broke off. Prying tool. So before I go any further, okay. It's usually pretty simple. There. Dig in a little bit, slowly pry it, try not to break it. If you break it, well, you just have to replace it. But you shouldn't have to break anything. Here, I got it down. My finger, that one didn't break. Voila. All right. That's what I need to do, right? Make sure you got safety glasses on. Got to get in there. And right there, we need to disconnect that. I couldn't really hold the phone and do it at the same time while holding this thing open, but it was pretty simple. Got in here, disconnected connector, electrical connector to it, a pink and a black cord to it. The connector that goes here is the it is facing the rear of the car. Once I disconnected that and I turned it counterclockwise as per unlocking most things that bulb came out, very simple so alright best thing to do as they always say is never touch with your fingers the actual glass because the oils can make it hotter and then eventually it just won't last as long but this is the old one so I will replace it with the new one alright so here's the new one I'm holding right now in my hand LED make sure it's all the same it should be the H8, should be no problem. Again, don't want to drop it, no nothing. All right. So now we get to view the finished product. All right, so that's the one. The cable right in front that connects. And you can't even see much because not too much space. But again, it was simple and it, now it's connected. So, I'm just going to close it up and I will test it out. Okay, moment of truth between the two. Okay, we'll see how much brighter it is. And that I actually did a good job. Okay. Turn that on. Let's get to the front. Alright, check that out. That's actually pretty bright. Check out the old one. Still ugly. Right? Ugly. All right, so now I'm just not gonna show the other side. Everyone who's, I guess, was able to teach this video, mentorship some way. Have a great day, enjoy, and peace out. Bye. Both fog lights working properly. Yeah, that's a pretty simple job. From Canada. Welcome to all the snow outside. Oy, oy, oy.